Avid Ligan, and hello, it's Vo, and welcome back to our playthrough of City Skylines. We're going to pick up where we left off from last time. We're working on this nice little area we'd made down here. We're looking at putting in another high school. We've saved up enough that we've got our 30 grand here. We can pause the simulation. That's the exact price of the alternative high school. The alternative high school um, has lower water and power usage, but it has a lower student capacity. So it has lower running costs, but it costs more to put down in the first place. It costs all of the 30 grand. I don't like that it's got a gap of one down here. If it was one square bigger, I'd love it. This is sort of one square too big. I think we may as well go with this one. Don't think there's enough benefits of putting in the the posh low energy one. We just reconnect up our pedestrian pathway here. And our pedestrians and our cyclists can get in. Get to school nice and easy. We would like to put in child health care at some point. Since we've got the elder care in. And power. We can only afford a standard wind turbine just now, but hopefully that'll be enough to tide us over. Keep us going for at least the next sort of couple of minutes. This area is still starting to get a bit crowded with equipment. It does all generate noise, so maybe get it moved at some point. Seems to be enough power that we can maybe leave things where they are here just now. But if we pop in another generator when we can afford it, we can maybe take that back down. In the meantime, we'll get some roads in once we get our snapping back on. We can come all the way out to the marker like we did on the other side with the industrial. If we give ourselves an extra little bit of room here, I don't want to mess about with trying to line up roads awkwardly. I'd rather delete the little tails afterwards and get the refund. In terms of zoning, I'm not sure if we want to keep the residential just on the left hand side of the medium road or take it all the way across. We do risk them complaining about noise from the highway, but if so, we can maybe try and switch out a little bit at the end for some commercial some water in and get this sort of whole area covered. Connect up some pipes for redundancy. Seems to be us all covered in terms of water for a while. In terms of our needs, I think we're going to need to pop in Another little area for residential, maybe a bit of commercial. In the meantime, we can go in and turn off all these traffic lights that we've created by setting up junctions. Again, if we follow the rules of stop sign at the end of a small road going into a medium road, or a medium road going into a big road, it should help let the traffic flow without causing them to stop and start all the time. It generally works out for me. It doesn't matter if we miss a few stop signs, as long as we turn off the lights. I'll have to do this loads of times, so... I think doing it uh, often better than having traffic problems and having to try and find every single traffic light in your whole city when your city is, you know, five squares big. It's all fun and games when you're only working in one tile, but when the city expands and gets massive, it'd be quite a task to try and go back through and find all the traffic lights. Even saying that, there's probably some we'll miss on the way around here. 
you always tend to miss a few. Making sure the traffic flows out the industrial area is quite important because there's a, a lot of trucks. And the trucks are the heavy traffic tends to be what blocks up the roads. With all our pedestrian pathways, we're certainly going to try and take some pedestrian traffic off the roads. Finally get our child healthcare centre in here. Looks like a while before we'll be able to afford the sports hall and gym. Power issues as always. At least we can afford the advanced turbine this time. Pop it in here, bring it 10, take it down, maybe touch on getting 12 here. Again, we don't want to take up too much area with all this uh, noisy equipment. Try and pop it in, but sort of close to each other and close to the railroad where it's going to be noisy anyway. pop in more trees or something to try and go around them, move them closer together and move it. Try setting our budgets back to a reasonable amount, now they've got those extra turbines in. We'll go ahead and zone this area a little bit once we've uh, built in these extra roads. Looks like we need to come one out with the medium road everything to line up. Get this in, delete this little tail, and then finish off with our smaller roads. Then we're going to create a buffer again. Once we've popped in some water, cover the commercial and residential area that we're going to pop in here. Got no money, so we'll run the simulation. Save up a little bit by little bit. This is coverage for water. We don't have much more need for industrial at the moment, so I think we're safe to take this as commercial. Pause the simulation so we can take out a square here for a pathway. People are less upset and they won't try to build back in if you pause the simulation when you're doing something, sort of reworking another area or destroying something. We'll appreciate that little pathway through the shops and a pathway for new workers to come along and work in their factories. Fill this in with commercial. That should be enough of a boundary. Fill a loss with uh, residential. And maybe a touch more commercial over here. Should be enough to keep us going. Pop in some pathways. As always, if we come as close as possible, we'll snap off up to the road and then page up. Try and find a nice space in the middle. We can pop in a pillar. And close to the road on the other side, so we can get down. Try and line this up as close to the road as possible, and then get to connect. Then we can maybe come down from the section above, across the road. I don't want to connect the two paths necessarily together. I prefer to make sort of two separate connections to the end of the road. Makes a nicer sort of area that you can detail afterwards. Over here we can only come up to the road because we've put our elder care centre in the way. That's not too much of a problem. We can still come up and over to get to this other area above here. Up the hill a little bit. Here, since we've got the space, rather than filling in one square of light residential, I think we can 
just build an extra pathway up to the road, make it easier for them to get to whatever's on the main street. Here we can do the same thing. Build across to this other area, get these two bits connected. That might create some nice healthy competition between those two commercial areas. <laughs> Down here we can fill in it again, more just to complete the square than anything. Not sure that's fully connected. Everything in the industrial area always looks so dirty, it's hard to tell. It's like if you try and pop down trees, they just all wither. They don't grow leaves properly. Everything looks pretty erect, you know. It's a nice aesthetic, but... It's hard to tell sometimes that you popped in things correctly. So we'll let it run. Let these areas fill in. Certainly spot on for the commercial needs, but I think we do need more residential. Might have to build in some more. Get another road extended along the top, maybe. And as always, we've got power issues. sure we can just balance it with the economy though. don't think we need to be trying to place turbines in the middle of the night. Hopefully at the next milestone we'll get uh, a better power station, like a solar power station. Not provide us a lot more power, we can tuck it away somewhere down in the industrial area. And that'll stop our reliance on all these turbines up in this corner. So we've still got one little area that's not getting full power. Yeah, we're just shy. Guess we can pop in just one more. Nice and neat, I suppose. Nice and balanced out. Yeah, that should keep us covered in the meantime. Then we can leave the economy. Extend this medium road out and create another little area for housing. If we come out by four to start off with, let me see how far we need to come out to line it up with this larger road underneath. So we'll take it out maybe just a little bit further because we're going to cut off the tail anyway. Run a large road up into it. little bit that we don't need and go in with our smaller roads get filled in and we turn up the power again a little bit before we do must have dropped. We're having a really still day. If we try and tuck one up in the corner, it's only going to give us six. I suppose it's better than nothing, it is tucked away in the corner. As I say, when we unlock a better power station, I think we can maybe delete or at least move a few of these so that they're not causing such a source of noise pollution over here. Just get them sort of tucked in. If we can get this popped in here. Seems to be enough to keep this going, at least until we can get these roads popped in. Sort of want to come down from the medium road rather than coming across here like I would normally do after being conned last time. I 
Bring down these roads. Ah, we've hit busy town. The game just really doesn't want us to get those roads finished. Never mind. Come back in the next one. Try and make it a priority to get that section of road finished. So what do we have unlock with busy town? We've got more policies. City planning policies. They're slightly different to the other things we've already unlocked. There's still Turbine Town instead of Turbine City, which is still quite sad. Hopefully, one of these times we'll uh, make it to a marker that tells us we're a proper city. Tourism specialization. That's for the commercial areas. You can tell them to specialize in hotels and boutiques and things for tourists. You can pop them around your unique buildings or your monuments, your attractions, that sort of thing. The places where the tourists would normally visit. You can sort of pop some of that around there. A different kind of shop. Helps add a bit of variance to the city and the way it looks. It can be quite nice in the evening time to have big, tall, reflective hotels that light up. It is very noisy though, and the people don't like the noise of the, the tourism or the leisure areas, so you have to be careful with that. So we've got a bunch of new policies again. At some point we'll have to have a look at the policies tab and see what we can turn on. They usually cost money, but they have pretty good benefits. Depends what sort of thing we need at the time. We've got new roads. We've got the highway with the sound barriers. That's going to help us, certainly down next to the roundabout where we've just popped in that residential. We can upgrade those highway roads to the, the highway with the sound barriers. That might help make that area a bit more livable. Get rid of some of the noise pollution. The same goes for all these roads that have trees down the side of them. At some point we'll have to go in and upgrade all the roads that we've got to roads with trees. And that helps get rid of some of the noise pollution that the buildings on either side create. We've got new parks unlocked, we've got a hospital that we'll have to put in at some point. Lots of parks. Lots of leisure and tourism type parks. We've got a new power station unlocked. Geothermal power plant. That's going to be what we go for next. And that can help us uh, take the burden off these poor wind turbines. Got a few medical buildings unlocked as well. If we can get the hospital in, maybe another medical clinic somewhere, and then get one of these items in, these special healthcare buildings, just to improve the quality of life of the people in our town. I think that'll increase their happiness. Healthy citizens are happy citizens. We've got a bigger fire station as well. We can maybe pop that in in the industrial area and swap out one of the smaller ones. We'll come back and do all that next time. I'll try not to make it a two-parter. I'll see if I can squeeze it all into one video, the journey to the next milestone. We'll see how we get on with that. Until then, take it easy. I'll see you next time.